Are you a content creator or an upcoming filmmaker who wants to edit his videos quick and efficiently? Do you have zero experience with After Effects or any other complex video editing software? Then Ease US Video Editor is the right choice for you. Take a pinch of fantasy to trim, cut, split, merge, rotate, mix video clips, apply stylish video effects, accelerate or slow down your video speed by taking your video to the next level. We have over 50 visuals and transition effects enabled for you to add a professional touch to your movies. And on top of that as well, import and mix music tracks like a pro and record your narrations with the click of a button. Guys, if this sounds interesting to you, then make sure to check out the first link down in the description and start creating something new today. What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to render in 4K resolution. I've never done a video about 4K rendering in Vegas Pro 17. I was actually planning to upload a really, really complicated tutorial today about how to create certain camera movements, but of course that takes more than a day to actually, you know, shoot it, film it, edit it, record it, all that. So I'm just gonna keep that for next week because last week we shot some documentary test footage on this Blackmagic camera with a Sigma 18 by 35 millimeter lens. And that is actually the great example to show you how to render in 4K resolution. So with that all the way guys, let's get into rendering 4K. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe down below and also hit the like button for more. And I would say, let's get started right after the intro. Okay, so now that we are in Vegas Pro, as you can see, this is some footage that I dragged in from the documentary tests. And once again, this is shot with a Blackmagic camera with a Sigma 18 by 35 millimeter lens. We're not gonna render this out in just 1080p. We wanna get the maximum quality out of this. So let's pretend that we just finished editing some videos. We're gonna basically select everything in our timeline. And first of all, before we're gonna hit file and hit render, we're gonna go to the project video properties above the preview screen. And we're gonna make sure that we will set our template to 4K. Okay, so first off, we need to figure out what the resolution is of 4K because full HD is 1920 by 1080, but 4K is actually four times the quality of 1080p. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the width and we're gonna type in 4096 and the height is going to be 2160. Now, of course, if you don't wanna do this all over again, you can just, for example, call this 4K template and you can hit this disk at icon so it's saved every time you're gonna edit 4k footage so now that we've done that we're gonna hit apply and we're gonna hit okay we're gonna hit file and we're gonna go to render as and right here in this menu we're going to select our presets so for this render settings i would pick the magix avc slash aac mp4 and right here as you can see we already have 4k presets already pre-made for you so if we're gonna render this in ultra hd 2160p 60 fps we're gonna go ahead and click on there and we're not gonna hit render just yet we're gonna click on customize template and right here the frame size we're gonna click on custom frame size and we're gonna type in right here 4096 so we have 4k resolution the frame rate is going to stay at 60 we're gonna go to the audio we're gonna make sure that the bit rate is going to be set to 320,000. and if we go to project we want to make sure that we will pick video rendering quality and we're gonna put that one to best like that and of course you can just call this for example 4k render preset so you don't have to do this all over again once you want to start rendering in 4k then we're gonna hit this disk and icon to save our template so now that we have the template ready what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose also our location we're gonna give this a name for example 4k render test and now what we're gonna do is we're going to hit render. Now I wanna mention that if you're gonna render in 1080p and it takes quite a while, I wanna point out that also rendering 4K is gonna take a lot longer. Now, as you can see right now, my rendering goes really, really fast, but that's because I have 64 gigs of RAM. I have a eight gigabytes graphics card. So it's using the maximum out of my CPU and the tempo, how fast it's rendering is based on your system. If you have an i5, it can take a lot longer. If you have 
i7 is going to be a lot quicker. Now, I want to point out that I only rendered out six seconds in length of content. So if you have an entire video, for example, that's 10 minutes in 4K, it's going to take a lot longer. So don't think that your video will be exported in 52 seconds unless you have a video that's six seconds long. You guys know what I'm trying to say. The longer the video is, the more filters you have on it, the more color grading, the more music, the longer it's going to take to export. That's obvious. So we have now completed exporting our clip in 4K resolution. It's a really quick video, guys, but it, there's nothing more to it. These are the best settings for rendering in 4K. If it went by too fast, make sure to just pause it, rewind it, and do it at your own tempo. And that's how simple it is. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. These are the best render settings for 4K rendering. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to reward it with a like down below. Also, subscribe if you're new here for the first time. I'll catch you guys in a brand new video, obviously, next week. Stay tuned for that video where we're going to talk about specific camera movements and how you can simulate that without really, really expensive equipment. I'm not going to spoil too much. Just keep an eye on your sub box for next week, and I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next video.